To go along with this video, I will have my world and player file ready to download. Uh, this is the updated one from a month later. I have like red wings, I have a creeper costume. Also, as you see, I have like a chest full of new items. I was able to get all the armors and NPCs, so yeah. If anyone wants to download that, you can just follow the steps in the video and we will be able to do it. Yo guys, it's Hax here. Today I'll be showing you how to download player and world files to your iOS Terraria. It's pretty simple, but if you're on jailbroken, you do need a PC for this. So, in my 1.2 update video, I posted a link for my world and player file. All you need to do to download it, if you clicked on the link, you would obviously download the file. I have the zip right here on the side. Once you have it on your computer, you would extract it. I already have it extracted right here though. So you're, you see these two files and you're like, what do I do with these? Well, you need to put these in your game. To put them in your game, you need to download a thing called iFunBox. To get iFunBox, just go on Google, type in iFunBox, and you should be able to find it. It is for Mac and for Windows, if you are wondering. So once you download iFunBox, you just open it up. You just plug in your device, whatever it is. Close that out. Managing app data, which is on the top. Show all apps. You would find Terraria. So, to get the player file and the world file into your Terraria app, you just open this, find the documents folder. You see right here I have all my player and world files. I recommend before putting someone else's world and player files onto your game, I recommend you do copy to PC. This makes a backup of your stuff before you do it. So just copy to PC. You choose where to put it. After you do that, you should be good. You just drag the other files from here. Just drag them into your thing and you'd be done. And you'd have the world and player file on your device. Oh, just a heads up. If you already have three player files or three world files, you cannot put any more. Uh, if you do, sometimes it like replaces your world files and your player files with whatever you're trying to put onto it. So that's why I also recommend doing a backup just in case it would do something like that. Alright, now I'll show you the method of doing it with a jailbreak. You don't have to do it this way, you could do it the other way also. Just I find this easier since you can do it from one device. So I have a thing called Chrome Downloader and you also need iFile. So you just click on the download link, it opens it to Chrome because that's how I download stuff. You just click on download, but since I already have it downloaded just to show you, I would just go to open in iFile. I just unarchive it since it's a zip folder. As you see here, this is a zip one and it goes into this folder right here. I just select these two. I can copy or link. And now I just need to find the Terraria folder which is in my applications. So once I find Terraria, I think it's up here. Oh. You go into documents, and it's in the same place as the other one. So as you see, I have my player files and my world files. I just have to click edit and paste it. Uh, since I already have my stuff, I'm not gonna do that now. But yeah, that's how you can do it with a jailbreak. It's a bit easier this way, but if you don't have a jailbreak, you can still do it. But yeah, that is all for now. As I said earlier in the video, the download for my updated world is in the description for this video. And this is Hacks, and I'm out. Peace.